My father, my father, my father, my father. My father was a senator, my father won elections, my father was a Republican, my father's part of a legacy, my father f my mother and didn't fall out and I'm the consequence of that. And that's why I'm pro-life, my father is your hero. I know what oppo research is. When political things happen, I think about them a lot more than most people because my father did political things and thought about them more than most people because my father was a hero. I'm a political pundit and I don't take that lightly. I have a lot of credentials and I don't take anything from anyone because I'm part of my father's legacy and have access to my mother's vast financial wealth she inherited from her father. My mother and I owe a lot to our fathers and my mother owes a lot to my father for his service to our country. I went to Columbia University because I'm sorry, but I'm very intelligent, and I wanted the people who threaten border towns to teach me things so I'd know how to deport illegal aliens from border towns. Ice Cube rep that West, why can't I rep my father? I know people that are scared of immigrants. That's a legitimate fear for anyone living within 3,000 miles of a border town. American capitalism, which is what George Washington fought for, or Venezuelan socialism practiced by illegal aliens. Pick one. I am very strong about our military because my father and my father's father and my father's father's father. I would have totally served in the military, but to keep it all the way real, my love of food is stronger than my love of country because of natural law of survival of the fittest. And I was too grossly obese to join the military, but my father served, so I want you to thank me for his service whenever you see me. How dare you tell me that America's not a shining star on a hill? And no, I don't know exactly what the hell that's supposed to mean, but it makes me feel very emotional and like I want to kill people in other countries. Well, not like kill them myself, but have other people do it for me and then thank them for their service because it reminds me of my father's service that protected Arizona from the Vietnamese who had WMDs and were planning to capture Tucson. That was like the one time that the illegal Mexicans actually helped protect Arizona. They were pouring over our borders at the time, and the Vietnamese had no open areas to land their helicopters. So I thank them for their service, but they should really leave now. I know how to win elections because I went on the campaign trail with my father, which gave me a breadth of understanding about winning the hearts and minds of people who thank my father for being a great American hero, never ever to be forgotten. My father was like the real life better version of Captain America. He was a captain in the Navy. He is America and he's better looking than Chris Evans. I am in my 30s and I dated a lot and could drink you under the table. I'm very feisty. My opinions on politics is a really important gift I need to share with America because I'm one of the elite Americans who love America because it's a shining beacon of a star hovering above a grassy hill on the horizon with birds chirping and the rocket's red glare. Immigrants not only want to infiltrate the suburbs of Phoenix, they want to eat all of our junk food and I'll be damned if that happens on my watch. I am definitely not against legacies because my family has a legacy. I do not believe in social welfare because I've never used social welfare because why should the government give me money when my father could give me money? I am very proud of that. I come from a long line of McCain's who protected the shining silvery light on top of a very majestic mountain in Virginia. Healthcare is not a right, it's something you buy from a hospital. Yes, I'll admit that my father opened a lot of doors for me, but no one thinks about the fact that I had to actually be his daughter. America's a country, it's my country, like it belongs to me, but when it comes to Israel, America's friends with Israel, and that's a really American trait that proves you're a real American, and I will not accept anybody questioning that because of my father's service to his country, America. I'm socially liberal because I believe you should be allowed to eat as much as you want in front of poor people. Whenever I can't make a decision, I ask myself, what would my father do? What would my George Washington do? And what would my Ronald Reagan do? And then I just eat a bunch of junk food and go to sleep.